what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here my name is diana and in this video i'm going to be showing you how i install this hair that i got from arabella all the information for this hair will be in the description box below so if you're interested in seeing me in install this hair and want to know more about this hair you got to keep on watching Hey y'all, so the color of this hair is called Gold Sand. It is a 13 by 4 transparent lace frontal wig and this is in 22 inches. This wig is kind of similar to another wig that I had on my channel, but the highlights on the other wig was thicker. These are like the finer highlights. Um, so let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, my hair is already braided. I braided it straight back. Um, nothing special there. So I'm gonna go ahead and slick back my edges. Um, I think I used um, some got to be free spray and I blow dried it, but I cut that part out. Um, so I'm gonna slick, ugh, slick back my edges and put on my wig cap. So the cap that I'm using is the cap that came with the hair. It's that thin transparent cap. I have been loving these. Um, as you know, these can sometimes work a lot better than the thicker caps because um, it's thinner and it just helps your lace lay better. So I'm just cutting out my ears now and I'm using my got to be um, free spray and I'm going all across my hairline um, and then I'm gonna blow dry it. I know some people when they cut off the excess cap they like to glue the cap um, to their head but because this like um, wig cap is so thin you really don't have to do that and plus it like creates extra unnecessary layers of glue with this thin wig cap um, so I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do is use this lace tint that I got from the beauty supply store and I'm going to spray this lace. Honestly ever since I discovered this I am not going back it really makes all the difference. And this is a cream foundation that I'm using for my wig cap. It's Black Opal brand from Walmart. I like this better than the powder because the cream, I mean, yeah, the cream doesn't get through to my hair like the powder does. So this wig fit relatively big on my head. So I had to cut off um, quite a bit of hair on the sides. Um, this is a 13 by four, but I guess my forehead is small or my head is small in general. So I just had to cut off a lot of hair. Um, the, I'm looking at the site now and the wig doesn't come in sizes. It's just one size. Um, so if you have a bigger head, this will probably be good for you. So ain't nothing changed. Still use my wig dealer glue to apply my, um, wigs. Honestly, I'm gonna keep using it until it runs out. And when it runs out, I'll probably try something else. Um, I know there's better glues out there, um, but this one, I just wanna use it to, the, I wanna ride it till the wheels fall off y'all cause I really like this glue. Um, but yeah, I wound up doing about like two layers of glue. I didn't do too many cause I'm gonna go through with the uh, wig bond spray. So I didn't need all those layers of glue. So now I'm just parting my hair a little bit behind my hairline because this is where I'm going to spray the wig bond spray at. Um, this just helps the wig stay on better for me personally because I have to cut my lace weird <laughs> because my hairline is weird and this just helps it stay secure and not slip and slide all over the place. Once that's done, I just take my comb to kind of lift the hair that got stuck with the glue up from my hairline and just brush everything back into place. And now it's time for my least favorite part of installs, which is cutting this lace. So I wound up having to cut this front piece off some of this hair because it came down too far on my forehead. I naturally have a big forehead so I in order to have like a natural looking hairline I had to get that out the way. Um, so now I'm going through with some more of the uh, wig bond spray just to make sure um, everything is laying flat not laying flat but it's like sticking as it should making sure nothing lifted as I was cutting off that lace. Um, and don't mind my little bit of hair left on the side that's my little raggedy hairline that I keep talking about. <laughs> So I decided that I'm going to do a middle part for this install. The last one was a side part, so I want to make this one a middle part. Um, but what I had to do is because I cut off that little piece of hair in the front, I kind of messed up my hairline um, because I plucked the front 
so I had to go through and repluck like behind my hairline to make it look natural all over again because it just had like a blunt cut line um the lace itself like the wig by itself it's kind of like pre-plucked but you still need to customize it a little bit um so now I'm going through and I'm just going to lay the top part of the wig flat using my wax stick and my got to be free spray and hot comb So now I'm just going to go and part my edges. I'm starting with the little sideburn pieces here. I like to do these because I naturally have sideburns on my real hairline that I refuse to cut. So I want to put that in the wig as well. Um, and now when I do my baby hairs, I'm first taking my um, baby hair brush and I'm just going to brush out how I want my baby hairs to look before I cut it. I don't have any product on it. I'm just using the brush and then I'm going to go through and cut it. So now I'm just using my Eco Style Gel and I'm going to lay my edges. I stopped using foam because for me, when I would use foam, it would lift up my hairline. Um, it would just loosen up the glue and loosen up everything else, but I don't get that with the gel. So that's why I like to use this. So because this is highlight hair, I went ahead and put some curls in it. Honestly, to be honest, I really wanted to straighten the hair. Um, but I did wind up straightening the hair, but I did it off camera. And I actually like how it looks better curled than I do straightened. But in this moment while I'm curling the hair, I'm like, mm, I wish I was straightening it. But it actually worked out. So curling it looks better. Um, it makes the like highlights pop a little bit more. And you can just see the color. And it gives the hair some like body. Um, curling this hair took a little bit of time. Not gonna lie to you. It took like maybe like 20 minutes, honestly. Um, because this hair is very thick. Um, so I just wanted to take my time to make sure that my curls stayed and didn't fall. Now I am just um, layering my hair. I only do it really in the front. I don't do it like in the back or anything. Just around my face so it can frame my face. I just start like I eye level and then, well, I start a little bit below eye level and then I work my way up. I layered it a few times, but I think I did that off camera. But just in case I make a mistake, I'd rather like start longer and then get shorter instead of like, you know, starting like super short. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is go through with my got to be free spray and just spray it all across my hairline to kind of hide that little harshness in the lace just to make the lace melt a little bit better into my forehead. But besides that, we are done with this look. So I'm not sure of the density of this hair. Um, that may be in the description box below. I'm looking on the website and honestly I didn't see a density but I'll try to find out that and um, get you that information if you're interested. But for me the wig that I was sent this hair is thick. It is soft and it's really pretty. It's not like super thick but it's not thin either. Like it's a nice decent um, density. Um, it's soft, it's manageable, I don't have any issues with like shedding or anything, but if you order this wig, um, let me know if you have any problems or if you love it, let me know. Um, but that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Adios, till next time.